Good morning, I hope you're doing well this Tuesday the 6th of September. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct, and this is your Morning Bell update. Well, the US market was closed overnight for the Labor Day national holiday. But across the sea in Europe, markets closed lower as investors questioned economic risk in the region, reignited by concerns about the energy supply from Russia. In terms of our trading session ahead, here's what you need to know. Firstly, despite the negative session in Europe, the SPY futures are suggesting that the ASX 200 will open 0.2% higher. The big focus today is the RBA's September cash rate decision, where it's widely expected the central bank will increase rates for the fifth consecutive month. Consensus is expecting another 50 basis point hike, which would take the official cash rate from 1.85% to 2.35%. So stay tuned for the announcement at 2.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. In commodities, oil prices jumped, extending gains, as it was confirmed that OPEC will cut production targets by about 100,000 barrels per day from October. The gold price traded flat at US $1,709 an ounce, as investors remain cautious of the US Federal Reserve's rate hike path following a mixed jobs data report. The report showed that US employers hired more workers than expected in August, but moderate wage growth and a rise in the unemployment rate suggests that the labour market is starting to loosen. And the spot iron ore price traded 1% lower to US $98 a tonne. There are nearly 30 stocks going ex-dividend today, including Blue Scope Steel, BSL, CSL, Nickel Industries, NIC, Northern Star Resources, NST, and Origin Energy, ORG. So we may see the share prices of these stocks decline today as investors take their profits. If you hold Magellan Financial Group, MFG, Bell Financial Group, BFG, or GWA Group, GWA, you will receive your dividend payment today. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. Goldman Sachs has retained its neutral rating on Telstra TLS with a price target of $4.40. Goldman Sachs has been reviewing the telco giant and hasn't seen enough yet to upgrade its shares. At its current share price of $3.89, Goldman Sachs' price target of $4.40 implies about 13% share price growth in a year. And Trading Central has a bearish signal on the reject shop, TRS, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $4.20 to the range of $3.67 to $3.77 in the next 33 days according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a lovely day and happy trading.